है फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक रिकर्शन इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ऑल अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट रिकर्शन बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टेक टॉक्स एंड कीप द बेल रिंगिंग till now what we have done we have done with the introduction to recursion and why do we need recursion then we have seen the types of recursion and the types of cases base case and the recursive case then also we have seen the working of recursion with the help of examples and now it's time to focus on use of the stack for the recursive function call and the applications and then in the next part you will see the recursion versus iteration and their advantages so let's start with the recursion and its next concept so you must having a question in your mind that recursion is an application of stack that all of us are knowing but how are the recursive functions stored in a memory how the stack is used in the recursion so i am having the answer to both your questions so let's move forward so let's start with the use of stack in the recursion a stack is used to store the function call in a memory stack is a data structure which follows what principle the last in first out principle what do you mean by la last in and first out this means that last item added to the stack is the first one which will be removed and when a recursive function call is done then the computer uses a stack to remember which function call it is currently processing so to keep track of the current function call the stack is used or it's useful to remember these details so every time the function is called a new stack frame or an item is created and that will get added or push on the top of the stack and this frame contain what the things functions local variable then the parameters as well as the return address where it has supposed to be return back then the return address is particularly important because it tells the computer where to go back to when the function has finished its execution where the function has to return back this address we will come to know from the stack itself this is a crucial in recursion because a function often calls itself multiple times because this is the recursive function call what is recursion the function calls itself is a recursive function call so it calls oftenly to the self and it creates a chain of a function call each call needs to know where to return and this will be done with the help of stack when a function call is completed the stack frame is removed from the stack and the control returns to the address specified in the return address of the Now, now topmost stack frame it helps to return back to the previous function call and this process continues until all function calls are completed and ultimately we can say that the stack will be empty all function calls are completed means what the stack will be empty because after every function call the stack frame is removed or pop from a stack so let's see the working of this recursion with the help of stack with the example of factorial we have already seen the factorial example in detail in the previous video session so this is the stack structure which is last in first out structure stack is always having a single end which is open the other end which is closed hence this only the end which is called as top of the stack which is used for the insertion of the element as well as popping of the element so let's start 
सो दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ फैक्टोरियल लेट्स कंसिडर एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड हेन्स एन वेन एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव वट विल हैपन वाइल मेकिंग अ फंक्शन कॉल टू अनदर फंक्शन कंडीशन विल बी चेक कंडीशन इज ट्रू हेन्स फंक्शन विल बी कॉल्ड विथ एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस वन दट इज फोर Simultaneously, you can see that the frame is pushed onto the stack. So, uh, another function, self function, will get call where n is equal to four. Condition is true. Another function will be called with the separate value, and hence n is equal to four will be pushed onto the stack. In this way, every time the value of n will be changed, and which will be pushed onto the stack. while performing a next function call so in this way the chain of the function call is done here and at the end you can see here the condition the recursive condition is a false hence it will return the value of from the else part that way that means it returns value 1 here you just observe here the content of a stack while returning back so let's return back and after returning the value 1 you can see here the top of the stack is popped from the or removed from the stack and it returns back to this function again it will calculate a value after calculating a value 1 multiply by 1 the current value of n again this function call because it's returning a value the top of the stack is removed from a stack factorial is equal to 1 this current frame will get executed where n is equal to 2 for n is equal to 2 it will make a function call it will calculate the value and it will return back and in this way it will return back the value one by one and ultimately at the end you will be having a value factorial is equal to 120 so in this way the stack is used here for your information i am only keeping a track of variable n but actually this stack is called as implicit stack and it holds the address of the next line where it has to be return back but for your understanding it should not be more complex that's why only i have taken the value of n or i have pushed the value of n to the stack so let's move forward let's check this score snippet and do you have a question in your mind that whether it is giving the correct output correct result of a factorial of a given value n so let's look at the code and take a decision whether this function will return the correct result or not yes you are right something is wrong in this code so what is wrong in this code let's discuss this will return the result stack overflow error why this error will occur you may fa faced this uh, problem while programming stack overflow when this error occur so let's see if the base case is not reach or not correctly defined then the stack overflow problem may arise so which one is the base case this one is the base case what we have mentioned here if n is equal to equal to 100 then return one otherwise you have to call the factorial function recursively with the value current n minus 1 so for example in above code snippet if fact 10 that is n is equal to 10 value we have passed then it will call recursively for factorial 9 because n minus 1 again recursively for 8 7 and so on every time it will compare n is equal to equal to 100 it will not reach to 100 any more because we are passing the minus 1 value current n minus 1 value to the factorial function so it will not reach to n is equal to 100 so what will happen so the best case is not reach and hence it will executed continuously because it is not stopping at any moment and hence if the memory is exhausted by the functions 
on the stack it will cause a stack overflow error so continuous execution just because of the wrong base condition or the exit condition it will be exhausting the memory utilized by the stack hence the stack overflow error occurs in your program so thank you friends thank you for listening and watching this video and stay tuned with the channel tech talks if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe share the video and the link with your friends and also do not forget to like the video and to do the comment thank you happy learning happy data structuring